Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cade, Dick Cabot, Vidal Buckley. These two guys, man, they were MSNBC and Fox before there was MBC, MSNBC and Fox, right? Yeah, yeah. And nobody has ever been as dramatically, brilliantly, wittily entertaining who hated each other's guts as much as these two did. And this, this documentary, it has no dull spots, believe me. Once it starts, nobody walks out. Uh, and you learn a lot from it. I don't think it had, I don't think it had a great influence, only because television, in its dumb way, tried to duplicate the excitement of these two guys, and nobody comes up to that level. They were so authentic. What we see today, so much of it is bravado. It's almost acting with political commentary. These guys were the real deal, right? And, and, and contrived controversy. Right. You know, get Mr. Right and Mr. Left as if there were only two sides to any question, and miss abortion and miss against abortion, and you know, and, and it's mechanical, and they don't have the genius personality and use of language that Buckley and Vidal had. Uh, and it, it, one of the dramatic things about the documentary, spoiler alert, is that it kind of ruined the rest of Buckley's life. He never got over it, it haunted him, he was appalled at what he had done and said in that one famous line, which begins, stop calling me a crypto-Nazi. You queer, we might as well yes. go on. Or I'll sock you in the face and you'll stay plastered. <laughs> That's not very macho, is it? I mean, would, would John Wayne say, I'll sock you in the face, <laughs> sock you in your goddamn face and you'll stay plastered? So, so there was something for everybody in this. You and I were just talking, you were on Fallon this week. How much fun did you have doing Jimmy's show? Oh, I love going on Fallon. I, I told him that I, you know, I, I encouraged him. He always talks about Cabot was the only one, the first one to call me when I started my other new show. And I said, I, I kind of feel like you're my son, Jimmy, that I never had. That's awesome. Any of them. That's awesome. <laughs> and he Thank said, you. I'm sure there were a few. <laughs> Somebody said Fallon and I should make a movie together that we get along so well. And only one person in an email asked if we were lovers. <laughs> I, was, I wrote back, one of us is, just to puzzle them. <laughs> I would love to see you and Fallon do something together. Well, talk about the old school talk show versus new school talk show. Yeah, in the days when it was Jack and Johnny and me and Merv, it was uh, a different world slightly. Different. And you had bigger audiences then than anybody had since because there weren't any much other to, other shows to watch. You a thousand, nobody can tell me somebody's watching every one of the thousand channels. It's a different know. era. Different era. Totally, yeah. Barely resembles today. But uh, anyway, I won't spoil you by telling how the movie ends.